Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir. On today's episode, we're taking a look inside Frederick Eklund's recently listed Bel Air, California home. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We love the curb appeal. I think this is French, which is one of our favorite styles. We love when windows are doors. Here's what that looks like from the inside. We love that there's no fountain in the middle of the driveway. We love when you can see right through a home from the front to the back. We like that there's a landline next to the front door. With the house this huge, sometimes you need strategic phones around the home to find people. We love classic center hall homes. We love this stone staircase. And we love all these arches to some of the rooms, like this one and this one. We love the circle mirror in this living room. We love the rugs throughout the home, like this one and this one. As a Persian, we require maximum rugs. We love that there's a couch in the dining room. Nothing makes me want to lump faster than eating a meal. A couch in the dining room helps expedite that need. We love the beams in this eating nook. In the kitchen, we love the height of the microwave. We love the double dishwashers. We love this refrigerated sauce closet. And we love the glass fridge Sub-Zero. We usually see the glass on the right side, but this one's on the left side. I wonder if that was an upgrade. We love that there's a circle mirror in the kids' bedroom. There's never been a better time in history to be a baby. In the main bedroom, we love this gold molding. As a Persian, I require maximum gold and maximum molding. This kills two birds with one stone, or four birds with two stones. We love the grounds of the backyard. A lot of people ask me what the ideal property size is. The answer is simple. If you can refer to the backyard as the grounds, then that's big enough. It has lots of amenities like a big grassy area, this hidden tennis court, and a few dining areas like this, and over here. Things just taste better when you eat outside. It's science. Finally, we like the pool area vibes. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate that you enter it from the side. Entering from the side seems cool in movies, but it never feels right in real life. We hate this front gutter, and we hate these arches. If they just ran the roof line like this, then we could have hid that gutter on the side out of sight. And out of mind. We hate that these hedges aren't trimmed. It's important to keep your bushes trimmed, especially if you know someone's coming over to take photographs. We hate that this pot doesn't have a matching set on the other side. As you can see, these front ones do, and these back ones do, and even these do. But this one is lonely and all by itself. Inside, we hate that some of the openings aren't archways, like this one, and in here. Whatever you do, you should do it consistently, even if it's wrong. We hate these chairs, and we hate this art. Did someone literally just put the color yellow in a frame? In the kitchen, we hate these lights. They look like Fabergé eggs. The only eggs I want to see in the kitchen are scrambled. We hate clamshell doorknobs, and we hate glass in kitchen cabinets. These are fun ideas in theory, but after many years of living somewhere, they end up just being trophy cases for your clutter. We hate how tall these cabinets are. Short kings need not apply. In this bedroom, we hate that this lamp looks like giant deranged AirPods. I've thought a lot about this, and we hate when the hot tub is in the front of the pool. Here's an overhead view of that. Much better. Finally, in the back, we hate these two hell palm trees off in the distance. This home ranked 4.5 out of 5 on the homies home ranking scale. Before I rate this, let's quickly talk about the chandeliers, since I know you're thinking about them. This is going to be another growing moment for us. I know these chandeliers all look kind of does feel USA, but at least they're not cloth. And I guess they kind of go with the home and all follow a consistent theme. So they're not that bad and work with the coziness of this home. And they're way better than these farmhouse chandeliers that we see everywhere. Just say no to farmhouse chandeliers. As always, welcome to the Stats After Show where we take a deeper dive into the stats. This home is on Stradella, which is the best street in Bel Air. Lots of celebs live there like Jennifer Aniston and Trevor Noah. And that $350 million home called The One was also built there. I gave this a four and a half ranking for a lot of reasons. The land is really good. Good amenities like a tennis court and a pool. And the home was super cozy. Which ideally your main home is really cozy like this. And then you've got a modern home with a water view somewhere else. The square footage is also pretty good. I probably would have given it a five if I had more pictures of the rest of the home. But I didn't. Also, I did a little investigation. I'm not sure if he even owns this home. If you read the announcement of him moving out, it doesn't really say that it's his, but all the news articles imply that it was, like this one, and this one, and this one. But when you look at the listing info on Zillow, it's been on and off the market for years. So my guess is that he's just been renting it, but maybe he bought a home to move to, since he said they'll be moving to their forever home. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next episode. A special thank you to all of our Patreon Ice Coffee supporters. That's patreon.com slash Samir. Without your support, I wouldn't be a winner and be able to have a $5 iced coffee every day. So thank you. 
And a super special thank you to our Patreon Plus supporters. That's Spencer, Zachary, Melissa, CJ, and Dan. Thank you once again.